While the world works to fight its way out of a pandemic, the fight continues to end an epidemic that's been around long before COVID-19. But the pandemic has made it even more difficult for those who are addicted to get the help that they need. That, along with the stigma of trying to get help and get the pharmaceuticals that are needed to help get over those addictions. But a recent study that was conducted right here in Tacoma of people who have opioid use disorder found that a new pharmacy program can actually not only curb that stigma, but also increase the chances of a patient's success. So my addiction, it, it was ugly, as miserable, and heartbreaking. For years, Christine Borland was like many addicts in America, not only dealing with the perils of drug addiction, but also dealing with the stigma that could come with seeking treatment. I had been coping with I had, I had been coping for for many years uh, with drugs that I no longer knew how to handle myself without it. Along with the stigma that could come along with getting help, drug treatment experts say there's also a stereotype for those who are addicted, and that only complicates a patient's chances for successful treatment. They've been stigmatized all their lives, or all the time they've been, you know, actively using addiction and drugs. They people look at them differently just because they. They're a drug addict, so, you know, the stigma of a drug addict is they're the homeless person that's living under the bridge, shooting up, you know, all the time. No home, no nothing, no support. So it just, it takes a lot for them to realize that there's a place out there for them to get help. If I was to go to a pharmacy and, and the pharmacist may look at you funny or, or treat you a little different because you're picking up a, a, a certain prescription, you know, but at the same time, that could also be our perception of how we look at the situation. You know, because who's to say, you know, they're purposely making you wait an extra 45 minutes to pick up your script just because you're picking up a certain prescription. Enter the Cordon Health Solutions Pharmacy Program, administered by the specialists at Northwest Integrated Health in Tacoma, a program that's become a game changer for many patients like Christine when it comes to getting their lives back on track. I started over from, from the ground up. I had lost everything. I hit rock bottom. Um, they helped me build my life back up. They helped me... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still in the process of getting my daughter back. It's all our patients who have uh, successfully graduated the program. Dr. Quisita Khan is the Chief Medical Officer for Northwest Integrated Health. She says this new pharmacy program is proving to be a success when it comes to keeping patients on track. And what we saw was that there was 52% uh, uh, better retention in the patients who utilize the in-house pharmacy. And there were 46% uh, fewer illicit um, substance use, 41% uh, less uh, emergency room utilization, and actually 100% patient satisfaction rate. Dr. Khan says that the stigma of obtaining pharmaceuticals to treat some addictions isn't only limited to patients. It also affects those treating those patients as well. Um, I have been in situations with pharmacies where when the, when the pharmacist learned what medication I was calling in or um, what place I was calling from, you know, their tone changed and my staff feels it. The lessening of stigma and convenience of getting treatment in the same location are a big reason for the success of this pharmacy program. But it's also important to remember the other therapeutic components. So the idea of this program actually is there's addiction part and then there's a mental part as well. And then you also have counseling side to um, make sure behavior change and stuff like that. As COVID continues to overwhelm our healthcare system, those suffering from addiction have found themselves lower on the list of priorities for many healthcare systems. Uh, our healthcare system is overwhelmed. Um, our, a lot of our hospitals, emergency rooms feel overwhelmed uh, with, the, with, the, with the COVID patients. And when, imagine a, um, a patient with substance use disorder walking in, they're at the very bottom of that priority list. And while obstacles remain to overcome for those who are addicted, former patients like Christine Borland say it's all about the support system. At the end of the day, you're not alone. I felt alone. It wasn't until I came here that I realized I'm not alone and there's people that care and there's people that help.